Arc Genesis Part 2 has by far the most creatures we've ever seen in any map to date. Not only does it bring the expected creatures that we've seen in other maps, it brings almost all of the creatures from the previous DLC maps. But how many of the DLC creatures are actually on this map? You're right kids, it's Ras Clark, and I'm assuming by now you know everything about the new creatures that have come to Genesis Part 2. But this is a guide on all of the DLC creatures that are on this map and where to find them. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So before we do get into them, I just want to highlight the Giga, of course one of the new most sought after creatures with this improved melee R variant. And surprisingly, both the Giga and the R variant spawn on this map. The vanilla Giga can only be found in the north corners of the Eden zone. And of course, that's not the one you want to know. The R Giga spawns in the bottom two corners of the Eden zone and in four locations across Rockwell's garden. And I do want to clear up a few myths that griffins technically are in Genesis Part 2, but aren't tameable. Both them and the Phoenix are in the Survive the Ark mission. Naughty Naughty wildcard. And the other myth, the Rock Drake doesn't spawn on this map either, it's only available within the Survive the Ark mission. Now let's get into all of the DLC creatures, of which I will timestamp so you can go to the one that you want to find. The Astrocetus, the giant space whale, comes at no surprise, it spawns within the space biome amongst the Astrodelphis and the Void Wirum. The poison breathing tanky basilisk spawns within Rockwell's innards, however I don't know how you're going to tame this currently as there's no rock drake eggs or magma eggs on this map. So you're going to have to transfer those eggs over unless wildcard possibly patch this. The web slinging spidey vision blood stalker spawns within the lower half of Rockwell's garden. However, not hanging off trees on this map, you're going to have a much difficult time than on Genesis part one. The Bulldog, everyone's favourite aberration light pet, spawns pretty much all over Rockwell's garden, but more so in the south half. But good luck finding one as there's hostiles everywhere on this map, so they don't last very long. The Enforcer, introduced on Extinction whereby you need to kill it to gain its BP to craft it, can be found throughout the tech trenches. The little pretty bird, the Featherlight, spawns within Rockwell's Garden and can be found all over Rockwell's Garden, in particular the North End, but it's quite condensed in the South Half. The shape-shifting, lovable but quite ferocious when grown Ferox. It does spawn on this map too within the bottom right of the Eden Zone, however I would go to the lake as the far bottom right area has too many hostiles for a little Ferox to last very long. The ever-present giving Gacha spawns in the top left of the map, however this is a really rare spawn, of course filled with hostiles that are taking Gachas down no problem. The living, breathing, blowing up, flying away gas bags is here as well, however in an R variant form and it spawns all around the north half of the Eden Zone, however you're going to get much more luck on the plateau overlooking the Tech Trench. The Glowtail, the little weird lit up frog thing, it also spawns here as well, pretty much everywhere within Rockwell's Garden, however as you can imagine finding these is tough because they die very quick. The Weather Forecasting Jaboa, originally found on Scorched Earth, is here as well, which shares the same spawns as the Ferox. So once again, head to the lake if you want to find one. The dual wielding tanky poly giving crab, the Carcinos, it's here and can be found deep within the waters of the tech trenches. Everyone's favorite flying moth, the Lymantria, can be found predominantly in the north section of Rockwell's garden. The weird boosting ice breathing flying dog, the Mana, it's here as well surprisingly and can be found in the bottom left corner of Rockwell's garden. The Knockout King, the Mantis, can be found everywhere. Throughout Rockwell's Garden, you won't struggle to find these. And of course, the Chiefy Reaper Queen, now in our variant form. I did a guide on this just today. Go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description on how to tame one with ease. And can be found in Rockwell's Innards. The Jumping Gnashing Cave Wolf, the Ravager, can be found around the north section of Rockwell's Garden. And can you smell what the rock is cooking? The golem, it's here, in Rockwell's garden, around the south section of the map. The undisputed, underestimated turret smashing roll rat is here as well, and is quite a rare spawn, but can be found in the north section of Rockwell's garden. Goat, 
the shine on. Sometimes being difficult to find an aberration is found all over the north section of Rockwell's garden. However, as you can imagine with so many hostiles on this map, it's a nightmare to find. But they do spawn literally everywhere. Even the ice giving healing snow owl makes an appearance on this map and can be found pretty much at the north and south borders of the Eden zone. The spike shooting thorny dragon makes an appearance as well, although it's quite a rare spawn but can be found in the north section of Rockwell's garden. And finally the auto turret velo can be found here as well, in both vanilla and R variants, with the R variant spawning all over the north section of Rockwell's garden and the vanilla velo spawning in the same area as well however you can find them in the south of the map too. And that's it, what a roster of DLC creatures that are all on this map. And that's not even including all of the base creatures that you normally find on all of the other maps. Of course, don't forget on this map you spawn with a tech suit right from the off. So you can simply switch your tech visor on, holding down R on PC, triangle on PS4 or Y on Xbox, and make your creature hunting a lot easier. Thanks all for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed this. What did you think? Can you believe how many creatures are on this map? I am simply amazed at the roster, and to me it makes Especially Extinction a much redundant map now. What do you think? What DLC creature are you going to tame next? My name's Ras Clark, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and as always,